Hi everybody, this is uh, Dave again uh, with the Yoga 2 running Windows and uh, we're going to download and install a few programs uh, a couple of which I use all the time first one is going to be CCleaner I uh, use that to clean up uh, uh, a lot of build up files that Windows gets, clean the cache it's an easy way to uh, uh, shut down startup programs that you don't really want to run. Um, it's a way to uninstall programs. Pretty easy. Uh, it's just it's a, it's a pretty decent program, and the safest place to get it that I found is a place called FileHippo.com. They give you less potentially unwanted programs along with the installs uh, that anybody I've seen yet. So we're going to go to File Hippo. Uh, we're going to click on C Cleaner right here at the top of this heading. And when you're in here, you always download it from this top right green bar. Don't ever click on anything else. I don't know what it was, what it would install, but we're going to uh, install it from there. And it's installing right now down at the bottom left corner. So we're going to let it finish its install. And then we're going to run it. Okay, the download's complete. Get down to the bottom. Click on the exe file. This is going to install it. Always read before you click the next. I want a desktop shortcut. I don't want a start menu shortcut, so I uncheck that. Add C Cleaner option to recycle bin context menu. Yes. Add open C Cleaner to recycle bin context menu. Yes. Automatically check for updates to C Cleaner. Yes. Enable intelligent cookie scan. Yes, because that will, uh, if you don't enable that, it will probably get rid of your passwords and uh, a lot of other stuff that you want to keep. So you want to always enable the intelligent cookie scan. And then you click install. And there will be a progress bar. Uh, and it will install it. Now it's uh, giving me the option to run CCleaner and view the release notes. Now, I suggest if you've never run it, to view the release notes. But since I already know what it's going to do, I'm going to uncheck both of these. And click finish. There will be an icon on the desktop now for CCleaner. But while I'm in here, I'm going to install Malwarebytes. That's an on-demand virus protection program that I run you know, about every week or so 
just to, it, it catches things that other virus protection programs doesn't catch. And the free version is pretty good. And the free version is down here at the bottom. Right here. little things to fill out. Click submit. Click here for your download. <coughs> it's waiting. Please note you must, it says, thank you for downloading Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Your download should begin shortly. If it does not, please click the Download Now button below. I'm going to click the Download button below. Okay, here we go. Now we're downloading it. 25 seconds. Malwarebytes is a pretty good antivirus program. Um, if you buy the full version, it will run in the background, but you want to disable Windows Defender if you're going to run Malwarebytes um, full bore, so to speak. If you don't, then you've got two virus protection programs running at the same time, and all they're going to do is cancel each other out, and uh, neither one will be able to do its job. So you're vulnerable by running two virus protection programs. You only want to run one. So I download the free version, and then I have manually run it about once a week, or if I'm... If I suspect something got downloaded while I was cruising the web, then I run it then, just to make sure that everything's okay. Alright, it is finished downloading. You go to the bottom and click on the .exe file, and that should install it. few prompts to go through. Again, read everything that you're before you click next to make sure you're not installing a potentially unwanted program or something that's trying to install itself alongside of malware bytes. Uh, a lot of these companies that give you free software, uh, other companies pay them to put a link on their downloads uh, and they, they it could allow them to install a program that you don't really want or need. So make sure you read everything, accept the agreement, click next, next again, Uh, it's going to put it into uh, program folder. That's fine with me. Uh, 
I wanted to create a desktop icon. And this one I want in the start menu. Progress bar going. It'll take a little while for it to install. Again, any prompts that come up, make sure you read everything that's on the screen. Just to make sure that you don't install something. Like this, for instance. It's completing the setup wizard. But there's two check marks there. Enable free trial of Malwarebytes Anti-Malware Premium. Well, I don't want the trial version of the premium. I just want to run the free version. So I'm going to come up here and uncheck the enable the premium version. Launch malware bytes anti malware. I don't I'm not going to do that just yet, so I'm going to uncheck that. I just want it to install. Incidentally, I'm using the Bluetooth keyboard cover uh, that comes with this tablet. Um, it has a pretty decent touchpad on it, uh, and I've been practicing with my typing on it. And it I, I can actually type on this small keyboard. Uh, it's not too bad. All right, so we should have Malwarebytes and CCleaner installed on the desktop right now. So we're going to come up and close out the browser and see what's over there. All right, here's CCleaner. Here's Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. We're going to click on and run the Malwarebytes uh, eventually. But first of all, I'm going to click CCleaner. There shouldn't be a lot of stuff in this tablet just yet because I just got it. I haven't really installed too much, but we're going to open CCleaner and just see what it comes up with. See, as the options are, it's going to get rid of the temporary internet files, your history, cookies, Recently typed girls, recent documents, thumbnail cache, taskbar jump list. It's going to empty the recycle bin, get rid of the temporary file. It's going to clean up Windows. Windows gets clogged up with stuff at times. So we're going to click analyze here and see just what it comes up with. Chrome needs to be closed. Do you want CCleaner to close Chrome? Yes. So we'll click on that. Yes, we'll force it to close. Okay. CCleaner is running. Let's see what it comes up with. 458 meg. That's a little bit. So we're going to run the cleaner and clean up that. Okay. That is cleaned. We'll close out C cleaner. Come over here to Malware Bytes. Now, by default, CCleaner is monitoring your computer and will let you know when it needs cleaning. Now, you can go into CCleaner into the settings and uncheck that if you like. Um, I probably will later because uh, it doesn't need to monitor the system as far as I'm concerned. Um, as long as I run it pretty regular about once a week this should be fine so it's up to you whether you want it to run in the background or uh, run on demand right now I'm going to open malware bytes because it's going to want to update its database 
of virus definitions it's updating the database right now so we'll let it update the database It says a scan has never been run on your system. Well, that's true because I just put it on. And that's fine. It doesn't have the real-time protection like you see at the bottom here. That's only available on the Malwarebytes premium version. And over here, there's an option to start the free trial. I don't need the free trial. Um, so I'm not going to get that. Okay, the database is up is updated. So I'm going to close out Malwarebytes. And uh, so now you have a cleaning system on there, and you have an on-demand virus protection on there. Windows Defender is enabled on Windows 8.1, and that does a pretty good job. Uh, but sometimes it misses things. And Malwarebytes seems to pick up where Windows Defender leaves off. And it's just a way to be, like, fairly sure that your system is clean. Um, we're going to close this out for right now. Uh, I'll be back later with some more tips and tricks. And uh, we'll uh, see what happens. See you next time. Bye-bye.